Okay, so the first thing you want to do in Photoshop is you're going to file open your image. So I just opened my image and now I'm going to open a couple more images that I'm going to work with. So I just need to find these. Okay, here's one. And file open. There it is. Okay, so now I have three images to work with. And just a reminder, this is the layers palette over here. And if you lose your layers palette, if for some reason this gets X'd out, just simply go under Window and click Layers and you have it back. So, um, the first thing I want to do, and I'm going to just get rid of, if you want to get rid of a layer, you simply drag it, whoops, you simply drag it down to the trash. Okay, I don't know where all these layers came from, but we will get rid of those. Okay, so here's your layers palette. Remember this over here is your toolbox and the default tool is the arrow tool. Notice when I click on all of these tools you get a different dialog box across the top. These are your options for that tool. If you click and hold on the tools uh, you get other options. So the first thing, I'll go back to the arrow tool, the first thing that you want to do when you open, this is going to be my background image, I want to go under image, image size, and change the biggest measurement, the biggest measurement here under document size is 54. I want to change that to 10 and then hit OK. The other thing that you want to, now notice how little this is, that's because it's only at 16%, so I'm going to change this to 100. And now I can pull this corner out so it's big enough. The other thing that I need to check under image size is the resolution and this is 72 so I want to make sure that that's 72. Okay so we're all set with the background image. Now I want to go to my other two images here and I want to do the same thing. Image, image size, notice how big the resolution is here. I want to change that to 72 Notice how small the document size is, so I'm going to actually change that. I don't need it as big as my background because I want it to be a little smaller um, to be part of the image. So I'm going to change that to 7, biggest measurement to 7, and hit OK. Okay, so now we're all set uh, with the size of the documents. So in order for me to combine this onto this background, all I'm going to do is click, hold, and drag, and there you have it. It is on my background. Now, notice that it are automatically came in as a new layer. Okay, We want everything to be on their own layers so that we can move them around independently. So, the next tool I want to show you is the eraser tool. The eraser tool is right here, and notice across the top are all of my options for brushes. I need to have, I want to have a soft edge brush, these blurry edge brushes, because I want the edge to be blurry so that it will blend in nicely with the background. If I had a hard edge brush, the edge would be sharp and therefore it would be obvious where I was erasing. So I'm going to choose something like this and this simply erases an area that I don't want. Now, if this brush is too big, I can use the open and close brackets in the top left of my key, the top right of my keyboard, and I can move that down a little. Now I'm doing this kind of quickly and not with a lot of thought. Um, what you want to do when you're doing this is to use control and also zoom in quite a bit so that you want to zoom in quite a bit by using command plus 
so you can really see what you're doing here. And I'm going to get rid of this. So again, I, if I were doing this for real, I would be using a little more care with the edges. So notice how the edge kind of blends in, and I'm going to get rid of this hard edge line here. Okay, so that's good. Okay, I'm going to zoom back out by doing Command minus. Okay, and now I can place this wherever I want. Now, I think what I'm going to do is I'd like to make it a little bit smaller. So I'm going to Command T. This is a transform tool. Holding the shift down, I'm going to drag this corner in so I can change the side size. If I didn't hold the corner down, then it would not keep the same proportion, see? So and then just hit return. And now again, I can position this wherever I want. Okay, so now let me go to my other image. And again, the first thing I wanna do is check the image size. Again, it's not where I want it to be, so I'm gonna change the resolution to 72. And again, I'm gonna change the biggest measurement to seven and hit okay. And then I'm going to click, hold, and drag. Drag this over. Notice it went on its own layer. And now I am going to, again, um, I want to get rid of this sky. So here's another tool called the Magic Wand Tool. What the Magic Wand Tool does is it gets rid of a large area of the same color. So if I click this on the sky, Actually, let me, Command D is deselect. First, I want to go up to the tolerance and make this 32, because I want to get rid of a lot of this sky. So, I'm going to, Apple X is cut. Apple X. Apple X. Apple X. And just keep doing this in all these areas. And I should probably zoom in at this point so I can really see what I'm doing. And so you get the idea. Now, at this point, I think it would make sense to just use a, an eraser tool to get the rest. Okay, so again, Command minus. Um, now I want to get rid of the dirt down here. Now notice what happens if I just keep it on this tolerance. It starts to get rid of like this guy's pants and the bike and parts of stuff that I don't want to. So Command D, deselect, change now. Let's bump the tolerance down to 15. And now when I do this, it doesn't select as much. So. Okay, perfect. Look at that. So now again what I can do to really um, clean this up is Apple Plus or Command Plus. Now I could get the eraser tool and just get rid of get rid of some of this. I don't need these wires really. And I really want to clean some of this up. Now with a smaller Use my close brackets. I can get in here and get rid of some of this. Okay, so you can see how you can use a magic wand tool and the eraser tool to get rid of a large area of color or selection. And then again, the Command T helps me to shrink this down. I want to keep the proportions, so I'm going to do that. Okay, now I'm starting to get somewhere. 
even though it still doesn't look like much. Um, we can now kind of see through the waves and the ocean. And remember, the whole point of this assignment is culture class to really transform one of your images and combine it with the students in Beijing to make um, a photo montage.